Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Dusky. We're starting out the vlog here today. It's already like afternoon. I started recording late today. What can I say? I have just been trying all morning to get my video that I made yesterday up today. Like, oh my goodness, okay? As you can see now, it's currently at 6%. I already had this video completely uploaded and on my channel already. It was, it was ready to be made public and... Uh, so basically, I made a new outro for my videos, and I had some of the sizing of some things off. It wouldn't work how I had it, okay? So basically, I completely had to delete that video off my channel, re-edit it in Vegas, re-render it, re-upload it. So yeah, now I'm just waiting for the upload, waiting for it to be up on my channel so I can make it public. I, I'm already late today on my video, okay? Like, I'm trying to get my videos out, you know, one every single day. That's my goal. You know what I mean? Basically, what I find works best for me is to make the video during the day, edit it at night, upload it it through the night while I'm sleeping and then just have it go public in the morning when I wake up. You know what I mean? That seems to work the best for me, but but when things mess up, it kind of puts me off schedule a little bit. So, what can I really do, you know? This video has officially gone to a day. I like to get my next video up before it switches to a, like a day later. One day, four days, four days, five days, six days, six days, yeah. <laughs> I've been kind of, I took basically like a four day break. I just had so much stuff going on. I couldn't really, uh, I just couldn't upload. I, I had some stuff going on. But yeah, we're back making uploads. I'm having a lot of fun making these vlog videos. It's looking pretty gloomy outside. To be honest, I love the clouds, like the overcast and more of like rainy weather because I used to live in Humboldt County, California, right? And it was like that literally every single day of my childhood. Like, obviously there were some days of sunshine, but for the most part, it was like that all the time. Hey, let and everyone around me down is how I feel I don't know if it is true but I just got a deal Every day we going out we seeking for the thrills Everything I want to do it all revolves around the bills I am chilling at the crib I can't believe the view I'm living on my own I got my money and I got a crew Yeah we've been chilling we've been hustling since we were young You be smart to never mess with me I got a gun Yo, real talk, real second, I wanna talk about something. Like, okay, look out here. See right there, those are some of the people in my family right there out there. It will not focus through the dirty window, but yeah. They always assume that like I just sit in my house all day long and I never go outside or I never leave. Like they're just outside, yo, like, oh, four in the middle of the day, go outside, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you don't have no idea what I do, okay? I'm just letting you know. I'm finally old enough to go in a bar. My dad was in the bar and I needed to go inside so I could talk to him really quick. So I just walked in and when I was in there, they like, they were there and a bunch of other people in my family was literally like a family reunion in the bar, okay? But for real, all of them, they were like, whoa, we haven't even seen you outside in months. Like, holy crap, it, it, he actually came outside. Ha ha ha, what are you doing in town? Like all this stuff, just like, it's like, dude, I, I leave all the time like it's they, they think that I'd never leave my house it's just because I don't go out and talk to them or something I don't know it's it's the weirdest thing man it's like they really seriously have no idea what I do like I am doing stuff all the freaking time I guarantee you that they think I just sit in here and I play video games all day long and do nothing else like I seriously what I think they think I do it's pretty sad but like I don't know I can't really change their minds and I honestly there's like nothing I can do about it so I'm just gonna do me keep doing me everybody in the vlog knows what's up you know what's up, huh? For some reason, my third monitor is just not working right now. All right, I switched over to a tank top just to make this a little bit easier. Basically, a couple videos back, I was telling you guys how I want to make a video, basically showing all the tattoos that I have. Um, not only just to show you guys, but more for myself too, later on down the line, so you know I have a reference point. I can come back to this video, I can look at you know how many tattoos I have right now, and you know what I mean, just kind of, I don't know, it's just it's just a cool video to see where I'm at now, because I do plan on getting a lot more tattoos than I currently have. But yeah, I'm actually starting to get pretty I'm starting to get quite a bit of tattoos and, and hey this shirt is like hella thin so so don't look at my nipples Okay, just just ignore my nipples. This shirt is thin and white just got some chill music going in the background What's up first off? I'm gonna start with the first tattoo that I ever got and to start off I don't really have like a super particular meaning behind this one um, Basically, I got this one like right when I turned 18. I just really really wanted a tattoo I do love the design of it. I do like love the tattoo now I, This one was kind of kind of a journey to make to how it is right now and I'll go more into that but first I want to show you really quick. All right, so the first tattoo I ever got here was my owl, and I'll just kind of let you guys get a good look at that. Yeah. 
So basically the story behind this tattoo is I originally got it uh, done, you know, the outline black and gray when I, you know, right when I was turned 18. Couple months later I went back and I had the dude uh, go through and do a color. It was like a full blown color out tattoo. But I told him that I wanted like black and red and more traditional colors, you know, like some, like I don't know, just make it colorful. And what he did, he, just, he put like a bunch of yellow and like, and like green and just dull colors and made the tattoo look absolute, absolutely terrible, okay? He just made it look, <laughs> I, I can't stress this enough. It, it just did not look good. I was really unhappy. Like, being, especially being my first tattoo, I was so unhappy. So basically what I did is I actually went and I had like all the color removed out of this tattoo, like doing the whole uh, laser removal thing. And let me tell you, that hurts, okay? That hurts so much worse than getting the tattoo. It's literally like a laser. It's literally like blistering your skin as it's going. It is one of the most painful things I ever had to go through, hands down. Hands down, it was so bad. Such a nightmare, it was such a nightmare. And then like a year later, you know, most of the color did ha did fade out. If you actually look into it, like you see the yellow here, not the yellow up here, but like you see the yellow here and like the red here. And like if you kind of really look closely, you can see some yellow down in here. That's like the remnants from the original color in the tattoo. Basically, I had most of the color doled out and I just had a different tattoo artist, a different tattoo artist. I forget his name, but he's awesome, okay? He's, he's awesome. And I only had this guy do this one tattoo. Basically, Basically, he went over and he completely redid it and I basically told him I want as, as much of it to be black and gray as you can but where he couldn't cover the color to make you know the whole tattoo too dark you know we just added some more color and this is actually the only tattoo I have that has color in it but yeah enough about that tattoo the next tattoo I got I kind of just went for it and committed and I got my lower half of my sleeve I just went for it man I'll let you guys get a nice look at my sleeve it's kind of hard to show this off like really well I don't know cuz it's like around my arm yeah Basically, this whole sleeve has to do with like um, Humboldt County, California, where I grew up, you know, where I was born, everything has to do with that. This cross is from my mother that passed away back when I was in eighth grade. Um, love my mom. The shark you see here just represents the ocean because where I used to live, it was a, a town called Fortuna in Humboldt County, California, which is in Northern California, and it was right on the ocean. That's where I got the ocean. You see the rocks here at the base of the cross? You know, all that has to do with the ocean. And then uh, we go up, we got, you know, my music, my love of music, obviously. If you look here, this is actually like a map of Northern California. Yeah, I'll get a little bit better of an angle right there. And uh, it has a magnifying glass around all the towns of like where I used to grow up. Like you see Fortuna's in there. Fortuna was where I was born and grew up. Eureka's where my sister lived. You know what I mean? Rio Dells currently is where my mom is buried. And uh, yeah, it's just all towns that are significant to me about that place. And yeah. And you know, I got a little special tattoo right there. You know how it is. This tattoo was actually the last tattoo that I got, but we're just continuing up my sleeve. And basically it's just an armor piece that's, you know, ripping out of my skin. I made videos showing this one before, but uh, yeah, this is how it looks all healed up. I still need to go back and get it finished and obviously finish this little spot to finish my sleeve. For sure, my next tattoo is going to be finishing the sleeve. I want to finish my sleeve out and, uh, you know, continue going black and gray. But yeah, basically the armor just, you know, signifies inner strength and, you know, got a family tree, you know, you know, strength of family, stuff like that. And here on my chest, I got my family crest tattoo. It's actually like a little bit modified version of my family crest. I kind of like modified it more uh, for myself. I don't know. I love how this looks. It, it just looks awesome and, you know, it means a lot to me so yeah so yeah basically that's all like my main tattoos that I have right now I, I do actually have two more that I'll show you in a minute basically like my whole plan for my tattoos is uh I obviously I want to finish this sleeve I want to connect this sleeve to my chest and have my chest go all the way across once I get that done um, I want to start on my back and then I want to do my full back I don't know for sure I might sleeve this out later on in life I don't plan on doing it now to be honest I kind of like having one tattooed in one knot it just looks really clean when I'm wearing like long sleeve shirts and I pull them up, you know, one's tattooed and one isn't. It just looks clean. Now to show you my last final two tattoos, I'm going to show you that not a lot of people know about these tattoos and it's kind of just something I did because uh, back in high school I used to draw it on me all the time and I was like, and then people were always like, oh you should get a tattoo and finally one day when I was actually getting this tattoo originally, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. I already had them drew on my knees and the dude literally just over my drawing just tattooed them right in and I mean they're, they're here today. So <laughs> I don't really regret it. I just think it's funny. You know what I mean? I'll show you guys. Yes, I have smiley faces tattooed on both of my knees. That, that's a real thing. Give you guys that view real quick. Yes, I, I really I really do have smiley faces tattooed on my knees. It's, it's not a joke. That's, that's that's actual ink. That's That's been there for years. Every time I look at them, it makes me smile. So, you know, I don't regret it. I, I don't regret it at all. Smiling in your life is an important thing. So, you know what I mean? Stay smiley. Yeah. When I started recording this vlog earlier, it was like... 
2.30, maybe 3 o'clock, look at it. It's almost 6 o'clock, and my vlog that is supposed to be uploaded today should have already been up at like at like 1 o'clock today, or, or even earlier than that, is only at 73%. That is how slow my internet really is. It still has, look, an hour and 9 minutes left. Oh my goodness. Man, this video was supposed to be up hours ago. Hours ago. Once I get my vehicle, I'm gonna definitely start going out, leaving my house, doing way cooler stuff for the vlog, you know, making the vlog a lot more interesting, because it's probably pretty boring, me just chilling in my house, spinning circles in my kitchen, because I don't know what else to do, because I'm just waiting for things to upload, I'm just waiting for things to finish, rendering, I'm waiting for so much stuff to happen right now, I'm waiting to get money on my card so I can buy a beat, so I can record a song, I have other songs I could be recording right now, but I'm just wasting time talking to a camera, I guess it's not really wasting time because I love doing this. this. This is what I got doing, homie. It's what I got doing, homie. I feel like I got way too much energy. I finally got my video up. It's getting pretty late at night now, and I thought it's finally time to change my name on my YouTube channel. At least for now, this is what my YouTube channel name is going to be. If you know the three months pass and for some reason I do decide I want to change it again, you know, obviously I'll let you guys know. You know, this may not be a permanent change, but I'm trying this name out, so let's do it. Last name changed for a while. Yeah, basically this is just saying that once I change it, I can't change it again for like three months, or I, I think that's what it is, three months. So, yeah, let's do it. Alright, there we go. This may just be a temporary name, you know, I don't know, I might change it again down the line later. As for right now, it's just gonna be Life of Dusky. I feel like Dusky Gaming isn't really gonna fit my channel in the direction that I'm currently taking it in. I hope you guys agree with that. It's pretty late, so I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave me a like, or a comment, or both. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night or whenever you're watching this, and like always, I'm Dusky, and later. God damn, god damn, you be sexy girl Looking at your body and I know you make my world God damn, god damn, the way you move your hips Every way you move your body sends me on a fucking trip God damn, god damn, you be sexy girl Looking at your body and I know you make my world